previously on Fallout New Vegas. With radiation suits in tow, Courier 6 returned to Camp Searchlight and joined up with Logan's scavenger crew to sweep through the town for the NCR's valuable leftovers. It was in the fire station that the Courier learned exactly what befell Camp Searchlight. It was also in the fire station that Logan turned on the Courier. After making short work of the man, the Courier continued towards Novak. But on the way there, he reminded himself of some unfinished business. Hey gang, what's good? Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. We're here at this, um, these, these mines, the mine house. We're looking out over the beautiful Mojave Desert. Wow, this area is, is a whole lot of rocks and, and bushes. Not necessarily cactuses. I don't know what kind of plants you call these. Some kind of like, um, um... Uh, Mojave uh, prickly prickly tree, a prick a prick tree. It's where all the pricks grow off of it. Fuck me. <laughs> all right, let's. Um, I said as I promised that we we would sell off stuff, and um, we did. Check it out. We got a lot of money. We sold off like thermic lances and shit. Holy hell, where our weight is way down. We've deposited stuff on Eddie. I've done a shitload of inventory management. There is a fella here who is. Freaking the fuck out. We're gonna take his gland, actually. Why not? Oh, God. I'm, like, stuck on him because I was trying to Z him out of there. But, um, it's looking pretty rough. All right, but, um, last time I said that we would head f further toward Novak, but we're actually not gonna do that. I lied. Well, I didn't lie, but I'm, I'm just dumb. Um, see here, uh... Irradiated uh, NCR dog tags. Now, in between videos, I was like, you know, I could have sworn that I remember doing something with these because I was, like, um, one of the early times I played through New Vegas, I was like, hmm, I wonder if these dog tags are used in the same way that the hollow tags from Fallout 3 are used, where you, like, turn them into a person. So I looked them up to make sure I wasn't missing anything. And then, uh, history repeats itself because I was like, I could have sworn. That, that I used them before I actually um, got to Novak, or New Vegas, I should say. And, as it turns out, we missed a quest um, to turn these into a dude. Someone wants us um, to, to get these done. It is um, our old friend, uh, gosh, I can't even remember his name, one of the NCR dudes back at Camp Searchlight. So we're actually going to fast travel back to Camp Searchlight and get that done. And there's like a whole, there's a whole to-do back there, man. It, there's a whole thing that we, we forgot about in our, our moronacy. Our moronacy. All right. Let's go and check out, let's see, where are they? They usually hang out around here. Oh, there they are. Oh, they're like spawning in on top of each other. Is this him? Yeah, First Sergeant Hello. Aster. What's Be up, back. dude? What can I do for you? Um, hmm. This is the guy, I think. I was stationed. I was Let's see, these are all things that we've seen. Oh, look. Hmm, it's because of how the dialogue works, huh? Like, it doesn't directly lead us to a quest. We have to ask some of the same things. You know, a lot of people hold up the um, the dialogue system in, like, um, Fallout 3 and New Vegas compared to Fallout 4. But, I mean, they're not exactly perfect either. I mean, the problem with Fallout 4 is that, you know, it forced to where you almost always had four options, and a lot of them were incredibly redundant or pointless. But, um, like I said, th this isn't exactly a perfect solution either. Something, uh, something to be, to be worked on. I, sh I actually think Skyrim was, was a kind of alright. Eh? What do you think? I mean, sure, sure, you could still use some, like, dialogue checks. That's the great thing about New Vegas, is all the, um, uh, the skill checks. That's always fantastic in an RPG, if you ask me. Anyway, Jesus, two inside baseball, what are we doing here? Are there any other survivors? None that aren't feral ghouls. Those poor bastards. I can't imagine how they must be suffering. I'd like to put them out of their misery, but I don't have the heart to do it. Can you do me a favor? Um, what's in it for me? Sorry, I can't help you right now. What kind of a favor? Yeah, let's see what we're getting ourselves into. I want you to put down the troopers that into. changed, turned into ghouls. Uh, why do you want to kill them? Those I've boys aren't themselves them. anymore. They're in pain. And you don't let good men suffer like that. Those troopers deserve a clean death. Uh, all right. I'll do it. For the XP. Thank you. Could you bring me their dog tags? Mm. Some of the troopers should still be wearing them. I'll give you some caps for each one you bring back to me. 
there's an old rifle in it for you if you can bring me at least ten. Ten? Oh, and take these radiation supplies. You'll need them. Oh my god, that would have really helped out earlier. Shit! We don't have ten. Let's see. Maybe our quest will track down where they are. Uh, where they all are. Let's see. We will all go together. Oh look, yeah, we've got we've got a bit of tracking going on over in there. All right, great. Let's pull out our our pistol arrow. Um, yeah, let's head on in here. Let's see. Where are you, you last remaining ghoulified duders? I have no idea. We'll pop some rad X before we head in, just to be safe. Um, let's see, rad X. Should we actually put on the suit? Our sweet, um, radiation suit? We might want to do that. Here, let's, let's do it. Let's put on the radiation suit. There we go. Look, this says that they're over here. Are they in a building? It could be. I don't think we've explored all the buildings because we tried to get out of here since we were so short on, uh, radiation prevention, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, it looks like the marker just takes us to the center of town. So much for being helpful. Damn it, Sergeant Astor. Damn you. You bastard. Alright. I guess we're gonna have to poke around some. Or maybe we didn't get all the tags off of everybody we shot down. Which would be real bad. Like, you know, we have to go around and search them all again. Stimpak, though. Look, we clearly forgot some stuff. Uh-oh, that doesn't bode well, does it? I mean, so far we've gotten all the tags, though, huh? We haven't found any dudes with tags. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's like the third time we've come by that and it's been like, Oh, what's going on here? Let's see. Oh, God, they could be fucking anywhere, couldn't they? Holy shit. Eddie, I hope you're ready. Turn on your fucking scanners, baby. Turn on the Doppler radar. We're going to fucking Super Doppler 9000 Eddie. Right out there in the field, flying over the friendly skies of Camp Searchlight. Not so friendly, though. It's uh, full of radiation, but Eddie doesn't mind. Eddie's using his sweet scanner, going like, bing, bing, looking around for dudes, trying to find dudes, trying to find tags, trying to find dog tags. But he can't find any. Poor Eddie. We've never been in this house, I don't think. Listen, you can hear something. There's a fucking guy in here. What the fuck? <laughs> There's a fucking guy in here. All right. This is, <laughs> this is something I did not know, is that there's a guy in here. I don't, I must have never been inside this entire, oh look, there's even a little dinky over here. We can't take it though. Oh look, we can though. He's, he's so blind. He's ghoulified. What do you think he has to say, Private Edwards? Speak up, Private. Who the hell are you? Better yet, what the hell are you doing in this cursed place? You know what? Forget it. It doesn't matter. Welcome to Camp Searchlight, the shittiest place on Earth. <laughs> this is like your first introduction to uh, a ghoul that uh, isn't feral. That that's actually have still has like um, what do you say? Uh, they're conscious. They're um, they're sentience. They're they're uh, they're wits about them. Yeah, let's say that he's still got his wits about him. It's clear. You can tell. Isn't that right, Eddie? Blah, blah, blah. You aren't feral, are you? Well, no shit. <laughs> Let's say it. Fuck it. No, I'm not. Not yet, anyway. I'm Private Kyle Edwards, former NCR trooper. Uh, former? What happened? Couldn't you tell? That damn radiation bomb got me. I can't serve the NCR like this. I mean, it, it's worth pointing out, spoilers, but there are ghouls in the NCR. Like, and there are a lot of them, like, um... The high, uh, high-ranking rangers, or maybe they were, they weren't in the NCR and they were rangers. Maybe it's probably a bit of column A, bit of column B, like when the merger happened. But uh, it's, it's pretty cool because like, um, a lot of the high-ranking ones, if you unmask them, take off their helmets, you'll see that they're actually ghouls, and that's like part of how they became so high-ranked in, in the, uh, in either the, the Desert Rangers or the NCR, is because they've just been around for fucking ever. No wonder they have so much experience. I think it's fucking cool as hell. Like, fucking zombie people walking around doing stuff. I mean, that's... That's that's a little rude. Calling the same... Ghoul people. Uh, maybe they'll let you back in. You're right, ghouls aren't fit to be in the army. Don't worry, I'll put you out of your mis... What kind of a fucking bastard? <laughs> Can I ask you something else? Fucking deflection. 
Maybe they'll let you back in. I'm not so sure about that. I don't know how the NCR feels about ghouls. Oh, if only I could tell him that I've played this game before. Um, why are you still here? I'm here because I have nowhere else to go. Um, can you tell me what happened here? I don't really know the details of it. It all happened too quickly. I remember being hit by a blast of energy. Next thing I know, I wake up like... like this. I've been staying in this house ever since. I don't know much about what's going on outside. Aside from the creatures that moved in since then. Hmm. What creature? Oh, the rad scorpions, of course. Um, can you tell me anything about Camp Searchlight? Not much, I'm afraid. What do you want to know? Uh, what's the history of the camp? I know that this place was originally a mining town before the NCR took it over. I think they mined gold before the war. Sorry, I don't know much more than that. Um, I can see... I see you're wearing an NCR dog tag. Give me that. Yeah, I am. What of it? Um, can I have your dog tag? You know, there's an NCR officer outside who wants me to kill you for it. Can I ask you something else? Ooh, he wouldn't want me to kill him for it. Uh, can I have it? Sorry. I'm not about to give it up. It's the only thing I have left that reminds me of who I was. Wow, I can strength him. I'm surprised I can't barter him for it. Um... Hmm... I might be able to boost my strength up, actually. With some buff out. <laughs> Do we want to, like, pop some roids and go fucking roid rage on this guy? Yeah, dude, we're gonna do it. We're gonna fucking roid rage out. Um, but first, let's exhaust his other options in case he doesn't want to talk to us. Look, he's speechless. He's ready. He, <laughs> His eyes are a little, like, looking the other way. He looks like one of those weird, like, fish. <laughs> Can I ask you something else? Sure. Oh, okay. Sir. So all right, let's let's pop some buff out here. Let's see, we're at five. We need to be at seven. Um, let's see, buff out. There we go. Oh, just enough too. Yeah. Oh, roid rage just kicking in. Look how private ever did you give me that fucking fucking necklace dog yeah, tag, jabroni. What of it? Um, can I have your dog tag? Yeah, give me that. Give me that shit now, you motherfucker. Fine. Here. Take it. Just leave me alone. Oh, yeah. Fucking Eddie, like, possessed me and gave me his power of roid rage. Go away. Oh, he doesn't want to talk anymore. Oh, poor guy. I feel kind of bad now. Oh, well. He's just here forever. Does he have anything neat I can steal? Besides Dinky, who I've already taken? I mean, if I see it, I want it, baby. Give me that Dinky. <laughs> Give me that Dinky. Give me that little Dink Dink. Hell yeah, you, you know I'm all about that dinky life. Look out, Eddie. We're coming through. Look at this. Man, this hallway is, like, very claustrophobic. Oh, look. Good stuff in here. We need to be hidden. Make sure he doesn't report us to, uh, the ghoul police. Alright. Oh, look. Maybe he's got some... Nope. Nope. All empty. Look at these dressers. Holy cow, they're fancy as hell. Um, dirt pre-war casual wear. Eh, we'll take all this stuff, though. I'm pretty sure we already have some agility equipment, though, right? Let's just double-check and make sure. Oh, yeah. Brahmin skin outfit. Holy shit, who would have guessed that Brahmin skin outfit would be so dang dope? Like, wow. The dope dick. Huh, little TV here. Alright, let's head on out. Man, I can't believe that there's a guy in here. I had no idea. Maybe I never completed this quest. I don't know. Shit, maybe I'm just dumb as hell and I totally did do that guy. I did do that guy. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just leave it at, I'm probably dumb as hell. That's, that's the most likely response. Uh, let's see. Were there guys in here with dog tags? Could be. I mean, it's pretty irradiated as hell, so let's quick save here real quick. And head in and... Do a quick once over. These guys don't have tags on them, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming they didn't, like, do a shooting loot. Um, let's see. These guys, though, the prospectors, eh, they don't really have anything either. They do have leather armor. Look, we must have not been able to loot them before because of, um, their positioning. Huh, how about that? 
Look, there's another one here, Prospector. Oh, we could loot that guy, apparently. He didn't have a radiation suit on him, though. Um, here, let's repair up ours, and also repair up our reinforced leather armor. Get some more, uh, durability on that baby. Alright. Let's see, were there any dead NCR people, or maybe they just hung up their dog tags? I don't know! Is there a situation in which you would take off your dog tag? I'm sure, like, like, even if you're going to take a shower, you keep on your dog tag, right? At least in all of the, like, porn I've seen. <laughs> when people... <laughs> and, uh, yeah! And all the, the hot fucking porn! All these fucking hot military guys, fucking Top Gun for life, man, taking off their shit and just fucking each other in the sh- <laughs> Oh god! No! I'm sorry! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh god! Someone arrest me! <laughs> Good god! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's, um... I don't think there's any dog tags in here. They must all be on people, right? There probably aren't any just free ones out, right? Alright. Let's head on out of here. And, um... Whoa. Hmm. I don't know. Where could we go? There were those other locations. There was the, uh, the police place. The, the police place. Um, the police station. The school might have something in it. I think that was just geckos, though. I think our best bet would be to check the school first, right? Oh my god. If only we had gotten this quest first when we were coming through here. Shooting dudes. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's a, a training dummy. It looks like a guy. I mean, it has blood. Oh my god, that's not a training dummy at all! That was just a guy! What the fuck? Oh, I don't know about this! Um, nope. Nothing. Where is that police station, by the way? I, I'm not even too sure about that. Hmm. Did our Radax wear off? Was that our, um, alert just then? That I just heard? I don't know, we'll pop another one just in case. Yeah, it seems like that was the case. Alright, on the lookout for a police station. Look, there's some more corpses over here. That might be worth looting. This might be the police station, or like some sort of mayoral hall. Uh, more ghoul. Ghoul bodies. Ghoul chunk. Nice little bit of ghoul chunk. Yeah, nothing. All, all empty. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see anything. Let's check inside the station. I can only guess that this is the station. I mean, look, they, yeah. They got a whole bunch of radar. What, what is this? A, a police station or like a freaking, like, I don't know, spy agency? I have no idea. Oh, that was probably set up post-war, right? That's the idea. Look, this guy's empty. What in the heck? Oh my god, we're gonna have a fucking time, aren't we? Looking for these tags. Jesus. Alright. Let's see. Uh, empty, empty, empty. I mean, that, that's actually open. We, we can actually hack into that. We should hack into this. Let's do it. Um, let's see. Tactics, pattern, station might be a good one. Or resting might be a good one as well. No, dusters actually would probably be be- no, daggers. Alright, okay. Good, that rules out a whole lot of them. Um, let's see. Fertile? Fertile? Possible. Ah, good. We're on to something. Um, let's see. Pattern? Nope. Station? Um... Let's see... I-O. That, that's only two matches, right? Yeah, it can't be station. Bastard. <laughs> uh... Hmm. One... Yeah, it's only a single match. Oh yeah, it wouldn't match anyway, because daggers. Uh, resting. Uh, that's two. Oh, that's three. There we go, nice. Daggers was a good pick. Uh, communications status. All communications offline. Oh, look at this. Uh, camp searchlight comm officer's log. The quartermaster has been bitching to me again about missing supplies and bad communications. I keep telling him that nothing is wrong with the comm system. And that his numbers must be off. I don't think he believes me. The bastard, <laughs> the bastard, will probably keep bugging me until I can either prove he's wrong or find someone else to blame. Damn it, I hate this shit. 923. 
a rad scorpion made it into the camp last night. Some of the troopers patrolling the border are getting sloppy. The only reason anyone noticed it was because several of the comm stations were acting oddly. When the trooper on duty outside went outside to check the transmitter dishes, he found the scorpion chewing on several of the cables. What's the point of having patrols if shit like this is going to keep happening? Hmm. 937. After the rad scorpion incident, the night patrols were shifted again. This is the third time in the past month. I don't think they realize the problem isn't the patrols, it's the troops. Every time their patrols get shifted, they get confused and holes open up in the rotations for two or three days until they're used to the new, used to the new uh, schedules. I really hope the Legion doesn't figure it out and take advantage. Uh oh. Sudden temperature increase, emergency shutdown initiated. Oh my god, it happened right then. Holy guacamole. Let's see. Mm, I guess we should go. Oh, look. No. Nope. Still no tag on you. Okay. Hmm. They could be guys out on the further perimeters. Like, um. Let's see. Let's bring up the world. Yeah, they could be, like, down this way. Like, on this whole, like, um, crescent. I don't know. Because there are... I remember there being some dudes roaming around. Like, see, look, on the mini-map. Or on the radar, I should say. Look, we're picking up some bogeys. Oh, God. What scary music? Oh, my God. Why is this music so intense? Woo! Eddie! Thank you! Um... Oh, look, he didn't even have one on him. What a fucking cheapskate. Let's see. Are there any more dudes out here? Hello? Do you see any? Oh, God. Ugh. Definitely can't see now. Hmm. I don't see any, but there's definitely one thing out here. It might not be one of them. Oh, nope. Look at him. <laughs> What's he doing? He's, like, jacking off or something over there. I hate to fucking interrupt, you sick son of a bitch. Gotcha. No more way out here, huh? Look, we only reloaded once or something. I like that you can reload one bullet at a time, but the engine really does not uh, want it to happen, does it? <laughs> Alright. Hmm, what the hell? We gotta find more of this shit, dude. Right? Gosh, there's so many that we're missing. We've only got... We're missing like four of them, which is practically half. Let's see, items, miscellaneous. Um, oh no, yeah, because we took one from the guy. Okay, see, we're not too bad off, apparently. We're only missing uh, three. Could be like a little group of them or something. I mean, it seems pretty bad that we're waiting until... Let's Yeah, let's actually move out here and then wait until... Yeah, wait until it's daylight. Let's go about ten hours. That ought to be sunrise, right? We'll be walking in the midday sun. We'll meet all kinds of people and we'll... We'll fuck everyone. Let's see. They could be up here by the water tower? Hmm, I don't know. At least our, um, our radar range is pretty, uh, pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. So we'll be able to pick up if there's any dudes out here rampaging around having a bit of a a rump -a -roo. oh like this check this shit out oh no rebound okay hmm hello where are you dudes eddie are you on the scans you picking up anything on any like chatter on the, on the radio on the ham look is that someone no that's a sign hmm i think the biggest uh dump here is that um it's possible that maybe we didn't even get the kill on him, and that it was someone else. Hmm. Troubling. Hey guys, what's up? Let's see, how many- it was ten, right? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe he'll give us a tip. Maybe he'll give us a hint. Sergeant Astor, what's going on, dude? Where are you? You're back. What can I do for you? Um, I have a dog tag for you. Oh, hey, can I ask you about Private Edwards? Who's Private Edwards? Um, he is a ghoul in Camp Searchlight. If he's a ghoul, he should be put down. I can't let a rabid dog suffer. 
Uh, no, he's not feral, though. Doesn't mean he isn't suffering. Or that he won't go feral eventually. Aha. Uh -huh. Um, is there somewhere else he can go? Well, there's a ranger station north of here that has a few ghouls running it. Maybe they'll take him in. Um, I'll go ask him about it. Good luck with that. Yeah, he might not want to talk to me You're anymore. back. What can I do? Um, let's see. I have a dog tag Thank for you. you. Every tag. Um, did we get them all done? Did we just turn them all in? Thank you. Oh, no, we just have to keep doing this. Are we, are we actually getting credit? Yeah, I think we did. Look at that. Oh, man, look. 125. Sir. Cool. All right. I guess we'll go back and talk to him. I mean, why not? We'll at least try it out. Man, he's definitely not going to want to talk, though, about this. Is this one of the ghouls? Yeah, look, a ghoul tree. Oh, look! Wow! Lucky! We only need two more, right? We should actually look around here. Oh, look! Look at these guys skulking in here. Hmm. Do you think there's any more out here in the fucking wastes? Eddie, I wish you really did have some sweet scanners. Like, fucking detect corpse or something. Good God. Give me some Morrowind abilities there, Eddie. I don't think you can actually detect corpse. You can detect, like, living and all that stuff and, like, enchantments. You know, irradiated stuff. You could conceive that as possibly being enchanted. It's certainly magical, right? We may as well turn this into him while we have the chance since we're here, right? 25 XP a pop ain't half bad, though. Patrol in the... You're back. What can I do for... Um, let's see, here. Oh, did he just say that I gave him every single one? No. Sir? We would have gotten, like, a big quest completion thing. Just skip through it so fast. Is this one? No. Same guy from earlier, probably. Separated from his head. Um, let's see. Hmm. We definitely got them all, didn't we? We killed them all, I should say. Well, except for Edwards. There's a guy out there, but I'm pretty sure we checked him. Good God. This is pretty horrific to do, um, like, a second time around. Like, this this basically feels like a living hell right now. Looking for these fucking dog tags. My God. I think the, the good thing about, though, is that you get XP for each turn in, rather than having to, like, turn them all in at once. So that's the uh, silver lining there for you. Look at this guy. Did we loot this guy who's, like, in this ridiculous pose? Yeah, we must have. This one? Yeah, we must have gotten all these guys here, right? Hmm. It doesn't help that their armor is brown. Like, I know, you, you know, you get it, like, they're trying to do the camo situation there, which is, uh, actually really effective, but it's, it makes it fucking impossible for doing this, huh? Yeah, these guys, we've all checked. We've checked all these dudes. Wait. Oh, I thought that was, like, a, uh, a pile of ash. Which would be a fucking twist now, wouldn't it? One of them being a pile of ash. Here, we need to take some... Some shit, don't we? Radex. Oh! Free radical perk. Okay, I don't know what it is, but I'll take it. Okay, let's see. Probably some sort of, like, passive radiation resistance, huh? Is this a... No, I thought that was, like, a chunk of a person. Uh, let's see. And we, we checked this guy, right? Yeah. And we check this guy because he's out by the ranger. Private, private dude. Let's go in here and see. He's not going to want to talk to us, is he? Uh-oh. It's because we intimidated the shit out of him with our roid rage. Wake up, Private Edwards! Morning. I got good news! Go away. Oh, no! Go away. <laughs> oh, no! Look, he's got a magazine here, though. Shit, he's too good at detecting us. Go away. Go away, that smooth skin. Fucking Private Edwards. Damn you. Man, we really screwed the pooch on that situation, huh? He's just doomed out here. <laughs> fucking roid rage fucked it all up, huh? My god. A fucking important lesson was learned this day, huh? How about that? That's a fucking moral there to take home with you. Take that, Simpsons. My god. We're coming at you with the hits. Hmm. Yeah, I still don't know where this last dude could possibly even be. My god. 
There's two churches in such a small little town. Huh. Maybe they're of different um, denominations, huh? I mean, that happens. Let's see. Which one did we check, though? Maybe there's, like, um, dudes in some in this other one that we didn't check. We should also check the school. I mean, like I said, I'm pretty sure that there weren't any troops in there. It was just all um, geckos. But, hey, you never know. Maybe it was a gecko troop or something. But look at this. Hey! I know this. What? Oh shit! There's some dudes out. Oh shit! This is probably it. Oh shit! It's the Gecko Armada back again with a fucking vengeance. Tank him, Eddie. I gotta reload this shit. Ha! Iced ya. No troops down here though. The Golden Gecko. <laughs> Hmm. Nothing else. Oh shit, dog. Well, right on, man. I'm all about that. Picking up some mini nukes. What are all these chairs doing down in here? Must be from uh, the church, but you know, usually they do the whole pew thing. Not the. Uh, they don't usually have little chairs like that, unless it's like a pretty poor off church. Gosh, maybe the other church was just, like, totally, like, some major assholes. Wow. Can you believe that? <laughs> Let's see. I guess we'll check the school. I mean, I can't really think of anything else, right? Can you? I don't know. We should probably eat another one of these, because ours is probably about to run out. Suck down one of the, a couple of those. Let's see. I really don't remember there being any ghoul dudes in here, though. Uh, let's see. No, nothing. Not picking up anything on the scanners there. What about this? I don't know. Is this, does this go anywhere? No. This goes right back out. Um, there might be some dudes over here by the trailers. I don't know. I'm not picking up anything on the radar, though. Which usually is what you'll get. Oh, look. There is someone. Or something. I swear, it's probably just a freaking gecko, huh? Or, like, some guy who, who is a trooper, but he won't have a tag on him. What a schmuck. Let's see, where are they? I guess we're... Oh, there he is. Pow! Long shot Lyle at it again. Wow. Coming at you with the hits. <laughs> Coming at you with the hit markers. No hit markers, though. Nice. I don't even know how many of those shots I hit, but you saw it. I was shooting when I was supposed to. Look, no fucking thing. No dice. Should we check out this? I don't know. We might come back this way, though. Hmm. Yeah, we don't have time. We're running out of right away. We can come back and check out this little... Well, no. Because it's not even marked on the map. We'll probably forget. We better do it while we have the chance. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Look. Got some, some shit up in here. What have we got? Um, bottle cap, rat away. Oh, that's good. That'll give us more time to move around. Uh, it was worth it after all. Just one rat away? I'll take it. Even better if we find more. Look at this dude. Probably trying to make it in here. More rat X. Also pretty good. Big pile of nuclear waste or something? Good lord. Oh god, we're getting stuck. Huh. Alright, move and then jump. There we go. Anything in here? No. Yeah, moving and jumping was like, um... I saw like an interview for, um... Like Nintendo when they were doing like side-scrolling Mario. It was like, a uh, uh, Like you don't think about when you're playing it, but they made like a conscious decision to have it to where like Mario can move while he's in mid-air. To where he kind of like ignores real um, physics for momentum because it, it makes more sense. Like it's more satisfying to the player if you can move while you're in midair. Like it makes it a little bit easier because otherwise platforming is a bit tough. Let's see. Eh? Anything? No. Yeah, I think we cleared this uh, little dump out. Okay. Well, I think that was worth it for the um, the thingamabob. 
the uh, the Rataway. Now we picked up a couple uh, bogeys on the radar over here. Might be worth looking at. We'll just have a quick look at them. I'm pretty sure it won't be them or anything like that. I don't know if I've ever been out to this, uh, like, what is this, like an airport? Yeah, it is. Oh, Scorpion. Yeah, they must all be out there in the field. Okay. Well, that's neat. We'll have to come back here one of these days. I've never, ever been to that airport. Which is, like, honestly a damn shame. For whatever reason, I guess I thought it was just out of bounds? I don't know. Okay. Wow, good lord. This whole trip around here has been pretty fucking, uh... Shitty, looking for for these guys with their tags. Like, we haven't found any of them, have we? Maybe our best bet would be to go back toward, um... The little encampment. Right? Because they, they would have to be where, where we or, or the NCR shot them. We, o we only need two, right? We only need two. Hmm. Jump back over this. I feel bad about fucking um, old man McGillicuddy over there now. He's just, he has to, he lives here now. I mean, I guess that's not so bad. He has this whole town to himself, but he, he's going to be here all alone. He's just going to have to hang out with these fucking feral ghouls. Or their remains, even. Which is actually probably pretty fucking awful. Like, what a fucking agonizing thing to occur. Let's see. Are there any dudes under here? I could have sworn that we shot some guys under here, but no. I guess not. Let's see. And there's guys over there. Hmm. Like bodies, I should say. Bodies of guys. Yeah, we've checked these. Nothing in this little alleyway. Now, these guys we're all too familiar with. Um, let's see. There's no one in the bottom floor of this place, is there? Yeah, that guy's empty. I mean, we may as well check, just to be sure, right? Let's double check in here. I mean, there, there could be one just, like, sitting on a wall or something. Like, maybe someone did take it off. Who knows? I don't think there's anything. The safe was empty. I'll take the 9mm. We can sell it later. Yeah, I guess not. These didn't respawn, did they? That would have been fucking fortuitous as hell. Alright, nothing. Let's head on back out. We'll head over toward the camp. Let's see. Um, yeah, it was west, right? Yeah. Not exactly to the camp, though. We'll start out a little bit out here, that way we can get a bit of a, a look around. Because we may have actually fought one way out here. What is that? Oh, that's probably one of the radiation warning signs. Uh, do you see anything? Hmm. I really don't. Which is not great. We may just have to fucking give up on it, man. Which is a bit of a bummer, but I, I'm not sure if anything really came from that quest. I mean, I'm happy enough that we got uh, a little bit of XP. And it seems like we did a good, uh, a good job looting them as we killed them, right? Like, we looted all of them as they had died. At least by our hand. Is this Aster here? No, just some random person. What about you? Yeah, random folks. Okay. Yeah, what am I saying? He'll, he'll, he would have a tracker on him. Maybe we should look out here by their patrol area a little bit. I'm not sure. This will be our last check, and then we'll head off. Do you see anything? Is that someone out there? I'm not sure. That might be like a flower or an irradiated ghoul. I can't quite make it out. Quick save here. Look, we're picking up a whole bunch of people. Hopefully that's not Legion on their way to try and shoot me again. I mean, knowing my luck, it's, it's probably going to be them. I don't know. <laughs> no, that's a... That is a flower. A Brock flower. Jeez, I'm kind of nervous about that. What if they came by and shot um, Aster? What if they had just killed Aster? Remember that gunfight earlier? Man, then we wouldn't do this quest at all. Because they would be dead. Jesus. Wow, good lord. What a horrific time. At least we went in there and we, we ex fully explored the place. We... 
We roid raided, raged out on uh, that poor fucking dude in there. Good lord, what a mistake that was. What a fucking misstep. Alright. Aster, where are you at? There you are. Still trying to look around here where they patrol at. Because I feel like there should be some. Like, right? Good god, man. Okay. Let's see. Are you coming with the dog tags? Uh, I'm still working on Better it. Better get back to it then. I don't want those. Right. Okay. No. I was wondering if maybe talking to him about Edwards could, like, clear it up and let me be able to speak to him again. But I guess not. Uh, let's see. Is there anything over here? Up this way? By this building, maybe? Doesn't seem like it, does it? No. I think that uh, he's just shit out of luck, huh? Or we are as well. We're just never going to be able to complete this quest. Okay. Sure. Fine. If that's how you want to be, that's how it's going to have to be. Okay, let's head on back over to this, um... This old, uh... This old house. Let's see. Let's put on our regular outfit as well. Actually, you know what we should do? We should head back and uh, get cleansed up at Doc Mitchell rather than spend... Oh, look! Could it be? Could they have been out this far? And we killed them out so far? No. <laughs> Should have fucking known. Oh, great! Oh, great! Here we go! Yeah, have your words. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Jeez. Uh... Let's, let's just pop some, uh, Medex and, uh, some Psycho just ahead of time. We'll be ready on the rest. Hey, guys. Oh! Oh! God, okay, they didn't waste any time there. Um, oh, look, we've already got 95% chance to hit him in the freaking head. Oh, they shot off our own hat. Good job, Eddie. Let's see, how, how good can we shoot this fucking guy? Not too good, but we can, uh, we can, like, blind fire it a bit. Nope. We're doing pretty good in, in terms of damage against those little weaker dudes. Let's actually, uh, equip one of our heavier duty weapons. There we go. That way we can take on the big boys. God, they're really freaking jittery, aren't they? But look at Eddie. Fucking tanking him like a champ. Look at this. Oh my god, we're, we're getting really good at killing these guys, aren't we? Should really not be splitting the damage, should we? Oops. That was a miss. Oh shit. What the fuck? Oops, it's this guy we want to get. There we go. Oops, that was a miss. Oh shit, I think we broke his gun or something? Or he paralyzed him. Ooh! Get him in the head. Oh man, did we miss? Come on. Sick fuck. I don't I really don't want to waste much more resources on you all. We've already ran through so much ammo. Whew! Alright. Oh look, it's a ghoul chunk way out here. Maybe they killed him. No, empty. Fuck me. Eh, 10308, I'll take it. Hunting rifle, denarius. Sure. Drink some water. Alright, let's see. What have we got in here? Magnum. Yep, good stuff. Good loot. Woot loots. An SMG we can sell. What else have you got? 12 gauge. Yep. Prickly pear fruit. Sawed off shotgun. That shit's valuable. And it was just four of them, right? They always come in fours. 
think that's the case. All right, let's see. Um, we should probably, uh, yeah, we should just head back to Mitchell once we come up here. Actually, no, we already discovered it, right? Yeah, let's head back to old Mitchell real quick. Let's do a return. Let's see. We'll get healed up of our radiation, that way we can preserve, like, our last two or three little, uh, sacks of rat away. Because we're getting, uh, we're getting pretty low on, on how much we got, which ain't great. It ain't great at all. All right. Oh, God. All right, let's quick save here. Jesus Christ, all of our shits which was wearing off left and right. Good old Doc Mitchell. He's... I really can't think of another doctor that we've met. Maybe there was one at the, um, Mojave Outpost? No, there was the repair guy, but not a doctor. Yeah. Let's see, where do you think he's at? There he is. How are you holding up? Um, let's see. Can you heal my radiation? Sure. Alright, cool. I like that, uh, healing up our radiation with him, it doesn't do the fade to darkness. Like it does in, uh, Fallout 3 and, uh, Fallout 4. Somehow they got around it. Alright. Head back to the mines. We didn't look inside the mine building, did we? Let's pull out our uh, revolver that we've got more bullets for. Or at least less valuable bullets. Should probably swap our ammo type, come to think of it. Yeah, there we go. Special. Here we go. Did we... I can't remember how much we poked around in here. We'll do a quick once over. Finance clipboard. Sarsaparilla. Oh yeah, look. Five of them. Always good. Um, garbage. Uh, conductor and sensor module. That stuff's okay in terms of value, but we're... Well, we'll take a sensor module. Why not? That stuff, take all that. Yeah, we must have not uh, cleared out this whole place. Uh, clipboard? Eh. What have we got here? A bunch of cans. Someone was eating beans. Just having some atomic farts. Fridge. Gecko steak. Man, it's actually not that good. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, some stim packs there in the rear. Anything? What was this building? Like a supplies tent, tent or something? Like, or a shack? For the miners? Like, if they got messed up inside the mine, they would come up here and, like, you know, get fixed up? I don't know. Who's that? Coffee pot? Yeah. Oh, pillows. Man, we can't take the pillows, though. Some BBs, I think. Is that what that is? I can't quite loot it, though. There's the BB gun. Yeah, I can't... Son of a butt. Alright, it's just there forever. Too bad Eddie can't, like, zoosh out a tractor beam and start sucking it into him. Oh, man, could you imagine that if he could shoot BBs out of... I mean, okay, that's really not that cool. Literally, Eddie can shoot lasers. So, shooting BBs out of his little thing there is actually not that cool at all. <laughs> Alright, what have we got in here? Nothing really worthwhile looking at it. Oh, look. Nope. All empty. Dresser. A tire iron. Huh. Not that much damage on it, though. Ugh. Man, look at that. You can see the beds. You can sleep from in this room. Man, what a fucking stealth sleeper. Sleeper agent. Alright. Let's skedaddle on out of here. Uh, I guess we'll wait until it's daylight out, right? Let's do, um, ten hours. And then we'll start heading on over. We'll head over to Novak and arrive proper. Alright. Yeah, there it is, over in the distance. Let's see, there's nothing else really on the way, is there? Ranger Station Echo. I mean, we could, uh, we could check over there, huh? Maybe that's actually what we're supposed to do, is, is talk to them first. Yeah, let's go over there and talk to them. Ranger Station Echo. They might have some cool stuff we can steal as well. Maybe we, we have to, like, organize a deal for them to be like, Hey, yeah, we'll take, uh, we'll take that ghoul guy. We'll take him, why not? And then we can go back and talk to him on a more official basis. Oh, shit. Oh, these are the mines! Oh, shit, the mines of Moria. Holy guacamole. Look at this. The Coyote Mine. 
What do you think's in here? Probably coyotes. Oh, I'm not picking up anything on the radar. Are you, Eddie? Looks, we got some purple fungus. Oh man, it's a real, it's a real Elder Scroll in here. Some, some also weird obelisks. No, I'm pretty sure those are just supports. We can't loot these either. They're like some violet Copernicus or something. What have we got? I'm not picking up any bad dudes on the radar, which is actually making me extremely uneasy. Gate can be opened. Anything good? Whole shitload of dynamite! Wow! How much weight do we have available? Quite a bit. Let's yoink all this, all these fucking bombs up. Holy hell! Oh god, do you hear that? It sounds like a some sort of like hiss. I don't know if you can hear it. It was very faint. It was like a faint hiss. Oh, a stealth boy! Man, worth it. It was worth coming in here already, just for the stealth boy. Good lord, that's good. Anything over here? I don't see anybody. Man, I feel like there's gonna be just like some giant coyote in here with like seven heads that like breathes fire. Dead end, I guess. Still more, uh... Wow, they used frag grenades as well? Okay, sure. I ain't hatin'. Uh, let's see, nothing else. Oh, one, one more dynamite. Probably worth a lot, though. Let's see, what's our weight at? Can we take that dirty water? Yeah, we can. There we go. Let's see, how, how do we look? Our sheriff's hat is, is definitely blown up, isn't it? No! Oh, because of the radiation suit, that's why. Yeah, I always forget about that, that the radiation suit is going to equip our hat. What the fuck?! A prospector! Oh my god, that's scary! There was someone else in here with me! Get back here! What are you doing in here? Prim is a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. What the fuck are you doing in Prim here? Prim is a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers She's away. She's just running around like I am. What has she got on her? A nail board and some... What the hell? Hey, th this is my ruins, dude. I'm, I'm the one looking through here. You get out of here, dude. Get fucking loot race over here. What the hell? Oh, shit. What the fuck is this, like, Dark Sanctum? What? They got some braziers up in- oh! Oh god, she's the Dark Lord. What the fuck? Is she, like, Dracula down here doing some Dracula shit? Healing powder. Oh, maybe she's like a shaman. Oh, she's like an ancient shaman trying to teach me her ways. Ah, oh, I see. I've learned a lot from this encounter. <laughs> they don't, uh... She doesn't really have... This isn't where she lives. No, she's like... She's a prospector. She's doing what I'm doing. Oh, but what's under these? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting some, like, dark, fucked-up secret. Look, there's a lot of pot in here. <laughs> hmm, alright. Well, that's weird. Some sort of, like, Dracula situation down here. What the hell? I have no idea what's going on with this. Maybe this is, like, for a later quest or something? Some kind of side quest that I've never once completed in my life? I don't know. We'll never know. Nah, we'll probably know. I intend to do as much as possible. Let's see, and we've, we've cleared out down here. Yeah, oh, we left another stick of dynamite. They even, they aren't even that hard to miss. I don't know. Well, that was, uh, that was pretty creepy that she was in there and we saw her just run by like that. Alright. What do you think, we're gonna get ambushed on our way out here? No? Anybody? You sick bastards? No, okay. Well, let's head on over to the, um, the next camp. The, um, Ranger Echo Station or whatever it is. Let's see, let's put down a marker. Oh, I can't. Well, there we go. It's right-click. Neat. Okay. And that'll be a good place to end it, huh? I think so. Oh. Oh. Out of bounds over here. Look, it's hard to tell sometimes, especially when you can just, like, uh, you know, sort of jump-skip your way up the, uh, the rocks. That's what I was saying earlier about that, um, that airport. It's hard to tell. 
think we got a secret hidden stash back here with nothing in it. Nobody's made use of the stash. There are some bad dudes up here. We gotta watch out. That's the Gecko Armada at it again. It's a flaming Gecko. A fiery Gecko. Uh-oh. Somehow, a lot of, all, we only hit with one bullet. Oh, God. What is this sound effect that's making as it's like... Oh! All right, Eddie. Get ready to fuck him up. It's a young fiery gecko. Look, it exploded into fire when we killed it. Either that or Eddie just caught it on fire. There we go. All right, cool. What's this? Oh, some more Nevada agave. Apparently used in uh, creating tequila. I can't remember if I if I said that. One of the uh, little commenters. I forgot who it was at this point. It may have been Connor. Uh, I can't remember. Let's see. Oh, look at them all. Sure, a lot of them guarding this place. Look, we got a little perk as well. We're getting crits. Oh God. I was hoping Eddie would finish him off. And we don't need to waste bats on that. There we go. 50 XP for these fire geckos. They're pretty, pretty tough, dude. Like, wow. I mean, I guess they do have spikes all over them. Look at that. Look at that. What a sick fuck. Wow. That's pretty deadly, dude. I wouldn't want to, like, fuck with a gecko that looks like that. I mean, I wouldn't want to fuck with any kind of big gecko. But these ones, they look like they can actually hurt you rather than just, like, gumming at you with their, like, slimy mouths. It's probably why they're taking so many hits or whatever. Because they're actually ferocious as shit. Look at them doing their silly dances, though. <laughs> Fucking Eddie is just making short work of them. Eddie must scale up with the difficulty, huh? Sort of like, um... In, uh, so some of the later, um... Bethesda games in their engine, the, the, um, your, like, companions and stuff scale up with the difficulty. Or, like, your, your conjuration summons, even. Maybe that's the case, and that's why Eddie is able to, like, lay down the fucking law. Alright. They must be over here through this little valley. Man, through the gecko valley. The fire gecko fern. <clears throat> oh. Very ominous drum bonging banging. Ah, there they are, I think. It, what? No, what is that? That's not them. That's like some kind of irradiated pond. Don't tell me they the NCR put all the, like, ghoul troopers, like, inside of a big bucket of radiation, just like, Hey, you guys just, uh, you know, kind of hang out here. Oh, here they are. Look at them. They are pretty close to an irradiated pond. I wonder if we can talk to them about anything. Maybe we can tell them about, um, our friend over there. Look, keep out. People walking. Keep out, people who are walking. Oh gosh, we are getting irradiated here. Go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Oh, okay, dude. What's this? Like some sort of like crater of impact. We won't go How the hell do we even get in here? Oh look, here we go. Okay. Cool. They got some binoculars and some sarsaparilla. Oh, we can actually take this one scot free. All right. Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish. Oh, this guy's not a ghoul at all. He's got some neat armor. I don't remember getting informed about any new transfers to this post. Um, what do you do here? The Legion's got a major crossing point down at Cottonwood Cove, so we keep an eye on him from up here. You know, if McCarran would send us some more men, we could do more than watch. Well, that's a familiar story. Um, has there been much fighting around here? Skirmishes mostly. The Legion raiding parties usually fall back when they know it's us they're up against. Why do you need reinforcements? The Legion's been sending raiding parties across the river in larger numbers lately. We don't have the men at this post to intercept them all. Okay. Carry on. I guess he's um he's got more to say if you uh, join up with the Legion. Oh, look at him! Uh. Look at that guy! What a fucking badass looking dude! I'm into it! Look at these guys! They look cool as hell! Well, except for their fucked up glasses and all that, but what are you, what are you gonna do about that? When I got this assignment, I was hoping there'd be more gambling. <laughs> Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Good lord. Some things hey. never change, huh? What about this guy, Com Officer Green? I don't wonder what the hell a civilian is doing here. 
Uh, what is this place? Ranger military outpost. We're keeping an eye on the Legion activities south of here at Cottonwood Cove. Nothing going on down there at the moment. Just the usual slave trafficking. Poor bastards. The NCR is letting the Legion get away with slavery? I mean, we know the, the situation that they can't intervene because they don't have the reinforcements. But let's let's get more details. Believe me, I would love orders to take Cottonwood Cove apart and kick the Legion back across the river. But the brass at McCarran doesn't want us to waste resources on something they consider a minor target. So we just get to watch. Yep. Typical bureaucratic bullshit, huh? Uh, does the Legion know you're watching them from here? Undoubtedly. Rangers are tough nuts to crack, though. And any force small enough to launch a surprise attack isn't going back in one piece. On the other hand, if the Legion goes for a full-scale attack, we'll see him coming, fall back, and wait for reinforcements. So we know what they'll do, and they know what we'll do, so we just sit around and keep an eye on each other. Alright, see ya. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can I, can I actually, oh no, it's locked. And, uh, he would frown upon that. So there's no one here I can really talk to about the, the whole set. Wow, okay. <laughs> that was, uh, that was definitely worth it. Okay. Well, this whole trip was fucking worth it just for that. Just for that Radaway. Pretty good. Man, we've really been using the Radaway a whole lot. Usually, um, in this, I, I have a lot of Radaway left over toward the end. Yes. I suppose it's for the best. What kind of pistol you pack in there, dude? No. Nothing good. I've probably got better than he does. Alright, let's check up here before we, uh, sign off. Oh, it's him, Rasmus, with his fucking Cab Calloway mustache. <laughs> Let's see, can we, uh, can we maybe, maybe get a little thievery going on here? No? I mean, I, w I would like some... Oh, look, it's 357, too. Can we maybe... Right, right... Oh, where's that guy at? Somehow he can detect... Well, he was detecting me, but now... None the wiser. Man, hopefully they don't uh, get attacked, because I've just, like, taken, like... 75% of yes. their supplies. <laughs> Alright. When next we come back, I suppose we'll continue our quest to Novak. Wow, we had a bit of a, a backtrack there for a moment. Um, looking for uh, some irradiated dog tags, but we, we found all of them but two. Which is a fucking bummer. I'm not really sure where to look unless I want to spend like two hours just combing over the entire place. Oh look, there's a gecko out there. And uh, I'm not sure if that makes for good viewing. So, uh, we're just gonna have to abandon it for now. I don't know. Worst case scenario, uh, when we get toward the end of this whole business, I might just, like, you know, actually comb over it with, uh, some console commands and do a fast forward through. And then, yeah, that might actually work. I don't know. We'll see. Um, cause it's, it's not really important. Anyway, enough about that. Um, when next we come back, like I said, I guess we're heading to Novak. Finally, we're heading to Novak. We might get distracted by some other fucking bullshit along the way. Who knows? But, uh, Novak, here we come, baby. Till next time, peace. Peace.